And then this dude comes up and sucker punches my dad in the face. So my mom jumps on his back and like chokes him out. <laughs> yeah, one time my parents, bro. Oh my God, this is crazy. One time my parents got jumped in Argentina, okay? Keep in mind, my mom lived in Argentina for like a minute, okay? Basically what happened is, okay, listen, my dad, maybe he was a little bit too aggressive in this, okay? So listen, you know, I don't know if you know, but in South American countries, in Europe, okay, anywhere outside of North America, pickpocketing is a big ass thing. I don't know why it's not a thing in America. Um, you know, muff just prefer to pull out a gun and rob you, you know, to your face instead of doing it subtly. I feel like that's more our style, but in Europe and South America. Well, I mean, in South America, they probably pull a gun out of you too, but that'd be the cartel. That wouldn't be like, you know, some regular deggy lash. Um, and so my dad was walking with my mom and felt like a little, a little, a little, like a little ruffle in his pocket. And then he, in his mind was like, oh, I'm getting pickpocketed right now. So you wanna know what he did? He turned around and sucker punched that dude in the face immediately. No hesitation, okay? He just rotated 180 degrees with his fist to the guy's jaw, all right? It was like an immediate thing. He did not even think. I think that must have been like some, some spark reaction. I don't even think he realized what he did until he did it, okay? And then my mom was like, what the f is happening? Kind of steps away, okay? This dude is like stun locked for a second. And it's like, what the f and then my dad and this dude start getting in a full-on fist fight, like, like duking it the fuck out in the street. My mom is like, what the f is happening? I don't know if my mom and my dad communicated what was going on, but like my mom, you know, understood the assignment immediately, okay? And so she ducked this guy's punch, all right? This one guy's punch. And then my dad like grabbed him. And so they were just beating, beating my dad was beating this dude's ass, right? Cause this dude was trying to just rob him like randomly. My dad, while in the fight with this guy, you know, this guy started running at them. And my dad thought this dude was gonna help. And he was running at towards them. And then this dude comes up and sucker punches my dad in the face. So my dad was like, oh, the whole street is colluding in this pickpocketing, you know, shenanigans. Okay, like what the f is happening here? They, they planned this. Okay, they said, oh, look at these dumb white people. <laughs> now, keep in mind, my mom is not, you know, not no average white lady, okay? She lived in Argentina for a few years. She understood what was happening. She knew. So, this person, a third person on the side of the street slowly approaches. And my mom starts screaming in Spanish. Ayudame, 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 which means help me, help me, help me, okay? Now, this third person approaches. Keep in mind, my dad at this current moment is like 2v1ing these people, okay? This third person approaches and starts trying to attack my dad too. So my mom jumps on his back and like chokes him out. <laughs> I'm so serious. She wrapped her arm around his neck, okay, from behind, jumped on his back and like choked him out to the ground, okay? Like my mom was, she was ready. She was ready. She was with the Shanans. And so... <laughs> Right now, it's a movie. Okay, my dad's 2v1. My mom choked this dude out to the ground. Okay, the dude's on the ground. He kind of like, he kind of realizes, oh, yo, we can't, we can't, we can't f this lady. Um, never mind. And so, you know, he kind of off, all right? But the two other people are still beating my, my, my dad's ass. So my mom starts, you know, helping my dad, trying to, trying to beat them, beat their ass back. Okay, and eventually my mom starts, you know, screaming like fluent sentences in Spanish. Okay, fluent, fluent paragraphs in Spanish. And I think she said something along the lines of we're getting robbed to help um, police or something. Okay, something. All, all I know is these two people thought that, you know, these three hoodlums thought my parents were just some stupid little white tourists. Now, my dad might have been a stupid white tourist. I ain't gonna lie. But my mom was a local bitch, okay? My mom was ready. She was ready to tango at that point, okay? She said, don't f me or my husband, okay? F you on. And so she starts saying fluent sentences in Spanish. I don't know exactly what she said, but it was something along the lines of like, help, Um, we're getting robbed, like police or something, right? Around that, okay? And so my mom said this fluent, this, this fluent sentence. And I think since they realized, oh, this ain't a white tourist lady. They kind of got scared. They realized she understood what was happening. And so after that, they quite literally just off. They just left. 
Like my mom speaking in fluent Spanish angrily scared them so bad that they just completely <laughs> They just left. They just left. They actually just left. Like they said, never mind. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. They were like, never mind, bro. Um, this lady clearly knows what's happening. We're gonna, you know, we're gonna f off. We are going to f off. And that's exactly what they did. That's exactly what they did. And so my dad, you know, got up. Listen, my dad. Okay, listen. My dad had been in like, he knew how to fight. That's all I'm going to say. Okay. My dad knows how to fight. All right. So like he was chilling. Okay. My mom, I don't know if my mom really was a fighting type, but I guess, you know, she understood the assignment and that the situation called for her to choke this dude out. So that's exactly what she did. Okay. And <laughs> after this, after this, they went back into the, keep in mind, they at, like the premise of them being in this location is they just left this nice restaurant. Okay. They were on the side of the street waiting to look for a cab. My dad was, it started raining. So my dad was going to buy my mom an umbrella at this little umbrella stand. Okay. On some romantic, on some romantic, right? And then he starts getting pickpocketed and then the whole fight starts. So keep in mind, there, imagine there's like a restaurant, there's a street and there's a open, there's open windows in the front of the restaurant leading to the street with people sitting at tables near the windows. This whole restaurant watched my parents get mugged and then watched my parents beat the muggers ass. <laughs> they literally watched my parents one uno reverse these dumbasses in real time. Okay, so after this, my parents said, you know what? umbrella okay i'm gonna go back inside this restaurant so my dad went back in there okay the dude that owned the restaurant was like you know hey senora you you, you want you want a beer okay you want you want some free alcohol so the dude you know was giving my dad free liquor after that you know gave him like a, a free beer or something at the bar they were just chilling they were waiting a bit okay you know they, they were just they were just trying to you know re re uh what's the re, re gather their um they were trying to gather themselves you know my dad was, he was a little bit dazed he, he was trying to get right before he left. Gather his composure. Yes, composure. Recollect themselves. So him and my mom were just chilling at this bar for a little bit. I just find it funny. No one in the restaurant helped. And then afterward, they were all like, hey, you want you want some free, you want some free liquor? Like, bro, like, come on, you couldn't help me, you know, before I needed the free, like you were just gonna watch me, you know, get my ass beat. Like, come on, you couldn't, you couldn't give me the, the free, you, you know, like screw the free liquor. Like, I could have used, you know, a free hand or two. Like, fuck. So. That's what happened. And then the owner of the restaurant, uh, cause at this point my parents were like, okay, I don't trust any of these people on the street. The owner of the restaurant was like, you know, uh, leading them out the back door so they could go a different way and find a cab quicker. That way these people that they, you know, scared off, didn't try to mug them again. Right. You know, they didn't, didn't try to beat their ass again. And so they went out the back way and then my dad bought a cab and that was kind of it. Now I take the liquor uh, offended, but booze is free booze. That's exactly what my parents did. So if you want a, a marriage that'll last, um, just get jumped in, a, just get jumped in Argentina with your wife <laughs> or your husband. You know what I'm saying? Just get jumped in, in, in South America and you'll be chilling. Guaranteed to make the marriage last. Yeah. But no fluent Spanish and know how to speak it angrily and really quickly so that the muggers know that you like, that you're not around. You know what I'm saying? So that was kind of it. Hey. Shout out to them. You got your parents' jeans, so you think you could do that? Listen, I feel like if I have a knife on me, I can do anything, okay? I'm like, damn, I could really stab him off right now. Like, I feel powerful, okay? With just my fist, though, mm, I'm like, I'm getting my ass beat. I'm getting my ass beat. I'm getting my ass beat. Listen, I use my street smarts to uh, understand how to avoid ass beatings before they come. You know what I'm saying? Like, if I was my dad, I wouldn't have sucker punched the dude immediately. I would have just grabbed my pocket and then looked back at the dude. And then the dude probably would have just like walked off and been like, he, uh, you didn't see that, you know, because I, I doubt these dudes wanted a fight anyways. OK, it's just my dad went from zero to 100 immediately. He was like, oh, you robbing me? Sucker punch. You know what I'm saying? So he didn't even give the dude a chance to kind of just off organically. Hopefully I don't get pickpocketed in Europe. Apparently it's really bad in Spain.